is terrible. Yeah, I know. I'm just to introduce everyone on the dais. Obviously, Walker Zimmerman, named to the U.S. men's Olympic team this morning. Our women's head coach, Emma Hayes, and of course, our team captain for the women's national team, Lindsay Horan. So this is how it's going to work today. It will be available for group interviews. We're to keep Lindsay right here. Quick thank you to Nike, our friends at Nike, for we talked about the alternates and how they can be utilized in these Olympics. We've now. Yeah, today is a special day for us. Uh, we announced our roster, uh, and yeah, we are excited to go to the Olympic Games. We are going there after 16 years on the men's side, but also we are very excited that we are going to be together with our women team. After almost two, get, two, uh, two decades, we'll have both team representing our country at the, at the Olympic Games. I mean, we all know that it was, uh, it was actually a really difficult process in the last eight to 10 months, uh, first talking to the clubs and uh, trying to get all the players released. Uh, yeah, it was on one side, it was a great experience for me to learn how, how that works. Uh, yes, there was a challenges. But, uh, however, we'd end up with a roster that, that we really believe that can represent us on the best possible way. And uh, I'm, I'm, I feel very, very good about the team that is going to the, to the Paris. To think about everything, and this is a great question, actually. Uh, we end up with this situation. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I, uh, I work with uh, many of those guys even before we started this process. We have some kind of relationship from the, from the past. Uh, they are a great group. They are willing to, to do any, anything that is, they are asked to do. And uh, yeah, I feel very, very, very positive and excited about the group that we have with us. Well, I don't have the uh, Olympic pedigree that Lindsay does over there. So for me, uh, first time going to the Olympics, um, obviously as an overage player on the men's side, you know, my cycle, we didn't qualify. And that's when I thought, you know, my dream is over. I won't have the chance to play in the Olympics. And then as things materialize later this year, um, just getting this opportunity is amazing. It's something I've always watched growing up, something I've always wanted to participate in. And again, I thought that was over. Um, and so I'm just excited and, and can't wait to get going in France. What about things that you can take from this and build a layer into what team in any tournament, you know, even the smallest of, of decisions can affect winning a medal or not. And so that's, you know, going to be a really key point for us is, is how we can handle those small moments um, and make sure we don't slip up for a dumb reason. We've talked about the alternates and how they can be utilized in these Olympics.